Okay, so now we're down here in the plan and I'm going to grab the solid tool right here. Click with my left mouse button and drag and hit 120 minus 16. And there is a solid. Okay, you can see right there a piece of concrete and it's one inch thick and the bottom of it the bottom of that slab is at zero. Okay. What I want to do is put, come in about six inches from each end and put a, a gentle arch right here. So I'm going to take the polyline tool right here, click right here and go six and minus 24. It doesn't matter on the length necessarily. And then I'm going to draw it, take the line tool and put a line right here in the center. You could use a point marker too, but this is easier. And just do copy and reflect about and put it right here. Then I'm going to click the bottom of our solid and hit the break tool down here, which is also the number three key. So I'm going to hit the three key now and put a break right there. And now we can get rid of these two things. And so when I click on the bottom, you see these two diamond handles. That's where the arch will spring from. And if we come down here, there's the arch tool. I'm going to click that. And it always seems to arch in the wrong direction. And I'm just going to hold my command key and move my mouse till I have an arch that looks pretty good. And then what you want to do next is use this here. And what this does is convert a curve to a polyline and makes it much smoother. So I'm going to put 120 breaks in there and this will be a lot smoother right here. Now we need legs to go back to the wall. So again, I'm going to grab the solid tool, click right here on the top left corner and make it one inch by minus 16. Then I'm going to open it and make this six inches long, deep. OK, and the top of it should be at zero. So that's right against the back side of our main molding here. Then I'm going to click on it hit copy and reflect about and put another one right over here. And if we use the floor camera, we can see we have three pieces of concrete making up our valance right here. So I'm going to take the spray can and go in here and get the color bone and paint these three objects right here. Two, three. Then I'm going to hold my shift key and click that object, then this object, then this object, and then come down here and use the chair symbol, which is convert the selected to a symbol. And I'm going to make it a valance. So I'm going to put a couple of these here, valance symbol. And you want to make it a fixture interior. Click OK. What you have to realize, we made this laying flat on the floor and we need to rotate it so it's standing vertical. And the way to do that is to rotate it around the X axis. So we're going to go here to the 3D panel, click X and then hit the rotate plus and rotate it like that. So our X axis is along the back side here and uh, that's exactly where we want it. Now. The other thing is the options on this case, it hangs on the wall. So we want to check that. Then the other important thing is the sizing. And what I would do here for the width is use a uniform stretch zone. When you do this, you have to remember this is the Y axis and anything to the left of it is a negative number and anything to the right is a positive along this X axis. So we want minus 60 here and the positive 60. And then you get this uniform stretch zone between the entire length of that object. And then on the depth, I would say we put it at, again, along this Y, uh, if you go this direction, you're going positive, this direction, you're going negative. So I'm going to say negative three here, minus three. And then on the height, it's 16 inches tall. I'd put the stretch plane around 14, maybe. Probably, I might even make it a little lower, like at 12 and then click OK. And it'll put it in the library right there. Now, the next thing I would do if I were you is I'd open this object right here, right click on it and open object and set it so that it's in my case, 120.5 is, is the finished ceiling from the finished floor. 
So I'm just going to set that that way. If you have a different finish ceiling height, you would maybe put it on there. Or you could leave this at, say, 96 inches. At least you know it's coming in high. And then when we go to plan here and I go into the room, I can just drop it right here. And then I'm going to use point to point right down here. Grab the point to point tool. Click on the outside edge here and snap it to the wall. And then I'm going to use the centering tool down here and center it on the door. And then I'm going to hold my C key like in Coca-Cola and grab this edge and just pull this in until I get it to where I want it about right there. And then take a look at it and see what it looks like. And there you go. So I could maybe even pull it in a little bigger or I can maybe make these drapes a little bigger. Um, so, you know, you could do one or the other. And then we need this crown mold to wrap around this. OK, so how do you do that? Well, I'm a proponent of using a molding polyline, but you could also click in the room and use a room molding polyline and say blank molding and put it at like 60 inches off the floor. And the reason for that is it'll put a break right here. And then you have to add the molding back onto this right here. And um, so right now, what it did is it created a blank. So let's open this. It didn't add anything, so we have to add a molding. So I'm going to go dash 34, which is a chief crown mold right here. Make sure I check to top. Go to the general tab, put it at 120.5. Go back over here and make it five and a quarter and inside polyline right here click OK and then on this edge right here since it broke it for the door you have to hit this plus right down here and add the molding there and now snap it to your your uh, valance and you will be in good shape Let's take a look here. There you go. Take your eyedropper and paint it the same color. Now, the nice thing about making this a symbol is when I click on this valance, I can pull this down and make it bigger. I can click on it. I can hold my C key here and move it in so it hugs this a little bit. And then I'd have to adjust my um, crown mold here. And look at it here in camera. And there you go. So the nice thing about using a symbol is how flexible it is when you can resize it in case you have a different size room or shorter doors and windows or what have you. So that is how you make a valance and add crown mold to it. And uh, I hope it helps. Um, please visit my website, mychiefskills.com. I've got the fantastic screen porch library so if you haven't purchased that you should investigate it it's the fastest way to draw a screen porch and i appreciate you watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching